Good morning, guys. running a little bit behind again uh, on the heaviest earnings season day of the year and I'm running a bit behind it but there's a lot of stocks are gapping down too so I'm not really worried about that I'm just gonna do them later RCL, didn't they have some kind of news? CNBC gapping big on the CMB on sorry mRNA is gap, gapping big on CNBC thingy. Plug, I think the report after hours. No, it says BMO today. Interesting. Okay. Well, they did beat, that's a good thing. Slash 89, okay. Let's see if they can bring this thing higher though. Yeah, fastly, absolutely. That one looks interesting. It's one of the few ones that today that I'm interested in. Maybe the only one. Wait, jet blue and and what? Oh, did they did jet blue already report? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about mRNA opening range highs potentially. Oh, okay, they had reports, okay. Uh, BLDP, when do these guys report? Oh, they did. Mm. So both plug and BLDP reported. It's in the fuel cell theme, so even though the numbers are not fantastic, I think it could be something here. Net is gapping higher. Let's see, fastly. Minus 6x, okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. 
Fastly looks interesting. Pretty big, 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 big beat. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. He's going on Joe Rogan. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Do you guys know if, if, if it's a live stream like Joe Rogan or is it recorded before and then put on, on, uh, on YouTube? TTD gapping. It's so hard to buy some of these. Like I saw that one. Uh, I'm gonna get to it. Twilio, straight up. Oh, this one reports after hours. And GH, I think, reports after hours also. Peloton, I guess I should have bought that breakout. Wow, could have been a half a million dollar trade, but no. I was, oh man, this is, man, I love being long stuff, but it's just so hard for me to, one, buy something just a few days before earnings, and two, buy something that's already super extended. It's not my... Twilio, I don't know, like, tw it's a double, it's a double in, in, in six weeks, 130% even, it's just, it's especially, okay if it was a small cap, but it's a large cap, you know, that's what makes it so hard, Fiverr is interesting, let's see, Arjun, the other ones are gapping, yeah, okay, so, t fastly, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, cars, uh, I don't know. Short looks like shit. There are better ones out there. Yeah, MGNX, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it for a potential short later. Oh, my MVIS is gapping lower. I'm gonna put a stop on it, 84 cents. No, 85 cents. I was up 200k, I sold a bunch into strength, and now I'm down 20k on the shares I have left. <laughs> Way to go. Good trading, Christian. Good trading. Okay, fastly straight down from the open so far. It's a big down candle. So pro and MRNAs straight down too from the open. All right. I'm gonna sell. Oh my God, Livongo! I had a small position from the from the beginning, and this has been a monster trade so far, almost 200k. Just because the move was so big, I'm sitting almost on a double on it. I'm selling some into this gap. So I've sold about the third of Livongo total. Okay, let's see here. A bunch of alerts went off.
Mainly, uh, I lost 75k on it total yesterday. Super annoying. <laughs> Twilio is holding up well, though. Oh man, I was a little bit late today. That was super annoying. Okay, plug looks decent. Melee, you know what? I'm gonna get back in melee. It built a nice base on the 60 minute chart. I'm gonna back, go back in to third size or so. Wow, the spread on melee. I bought 1300 shares on Melee. I just can't let it go. I, I, yeah, we'll see. Let's see if I can if I get fucked on it. Okay, so MV is held so far. I'm gonna raise my stop on it. Eighty-eight cents, and this that's good. So far, cruise lines and airlines are bouncing a bit. I got stopped out of two, two stocks. Two very tight stops I had. Wow, Livongo is a nice one. This is another one nearing a triple from the lows. It's kind of hard to add to it here. You know, I would love to see... You know, I would love to increase my position on this thing, but technically it's... Probably suicide.
Yeah, I'm 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 just passing on Twilio. I, it's probably gonna. I don't know, man. I was so confident in melee yesterday, and I I ate shit on it. It just ugh. hasn't been my my market. Like I made money, but I haven't had the home runs. Super annoying. And the ones I'm really confident on, I just eat shit on them. The market really knows how to fuck you around. Mentally. It really knows. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so far most of my positions look good, except for two small shorts I got stopped out of. In Seago, this thing is being crazy pumped, and uh, the report was shit. On the other hand, they are they're going to see profits next year. Yeah, exactly, Roku. Yep. They have earnings. Yeah, like yesterday, today and are are the big heavy earnings days. Oh, Twilio. Okay. Guess I should have done the opening. Yeah, it's probably going to go straight to 200 now without me, of course. Peloton. Oh, man, I can't look at that thing. Wow, Lyft has some serious earnings or revenue deceleration from 100 plus percent to 90 to 70 to 60 to 50 and now only 23% earning, uh, revenue growth. That's pretty bad. JD is breaking higher. I do like this one. Maybe for later. So MGN next, let's see if we can do something crazy today, I'm willing to buy, uh, short it. Wow, RGLD, gold stock breaking out ahead of the other gold stocks. Uh, BE, yeah, it's the same theme as plug and BLD. BE? Oh, break even. I thought you were talking about uh, <laughs> the stock. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, break even.
Ah, <laughs> <sighs> let's see here. Fuss capper. Tesla is starting to break higher. I like Tesla a lot. I, I think the chart looks great. I'm I'm thinking about buying. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait for the first candle to form and then uh, buy the break of that candle. I'm I'm thinking about it. Carvana, big yearning. Uh, what I'm seeing, a lot of these high revenue growth stocks are having some pretty serious earning uh, growth uh, deceleration. mRNA is crapping and but fastly is starting to come around a little bit I started some fastly. Because why the fuck not? VTIQ, did they have earnings? I know they're on my gappers list. Well, right now it looks like shit. Uh, but did they report? I don't see that they reported. Why is it up even? But wh what's the news on VTIQ?
Oh, this net reports tonight. Of course, all these stocks are running big into earnings. Super annoying. Square actually had a losing quarter after two years of uh, losses uh, or uh, profits. That's not great. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, look, if it can, uh, I mean, look, if you think it's going to go up, buy it. I don't know. Technically, right now, I just don't. Uh, but yeah, those, those ones can make big moves. We've seen it with SPSC and the other one, DraftKings. They're like making enormous moves, doubling after they complete the merger. Sure, why not? They're taking all of these things up. SPC, this one tripled, quadrupled after the merger. Uh, DraftKings, uh, this one too, it pretty much doubled. So yeah, why not? Why not? Anything is possible. I bought a half size on a, a Fastly like a few minutes ago and I'm gonna add uh, through the highs. Norwegian is already, no never mind Norwegian is hitting highs, never mind. BA, I'm gonna get stopped out break even. Probably in a few minutes. <clears throat> SC has some weakness, annoying, annoying weakness. All right, MV, so I'm gonna raise my stop even more. I'm gonna use 90 cent as my stop now, this thing has gone. Down more than I thought it would into the event, but okay.
Oh, so SCD cheap both missed EPS and revenues. No revenue they beat, but they missed EPS and they're guiding lower on revenue for next quarter. That's a polar opposite of EMPH that I think beat and guided higher. Yeah, they beat on everything. And guided higher. No, they actually guided revenue lower for next quarter. That's interesting. What? The stock is up? Yeah, grats. But yeah, SCDG, interesting. Hmm. So EMPH guided lower for next quarter and it's up, but SCDG also guided lower for next quarter and it's down. You know, sometimes trying to figure out the markets it's easier to just do something else, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to do some deep research. Maybe there's probably something under the surface that's, you know, you kind of have to research. All the so-called value stocks are rallying quite hard right now. AMD is weak. AMD is much, much weaker than NVIDIA is. That's not a great sign. AMD is one of my favorite stocks, but nope. Maybe not for long. Maybe for not, not for much longer. Okay, Fastly, let's see. Now I'm still in half size on Fastly, never mind. But I'm gonna add any any minute. Okta is doing great though, I'm gonna sell another tiny piece here. Okay, MVs, I'm all out. This pump unfortunately ended a little bit earlier than I would have hoped for. I really was hoping it was gonna hold up better into the event today.
if mRNA can reclaim VWAP, uh, that could be a, a potential long setup. But it keeps getting rejected. You know what, VTIQ, uh, when was, let's say, VTIQ, early June? Okay, um, you know what? I'm willing to buy it. I'm actually willing to buy it. If it takes out highs later, maybe. I, I like, it, it, after SPCE, which I totally missed, uh, and uh, also DraftKings, which I totally messed up. I was I was looking to buy, but I never did over this 20, 30, 20, 40 area, and now it's in the almost 26. Um, I I'm I'm gonna buy VTIQ. I'm, I'm gonna buy it. I will buy it. This thing could this thing could double into the event, and e even after. It could even uh, double after. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, uh, let's see, who was it? Uh, Steve Martin 50. Thanks for the heads up. You know what? I I I'm going to buy VTIQ. Not right now, but maybe later in the day. Peloton is selling off from the report. It's had such a nice little run into it. <laughs> Let's see here. work um no i i don't think it's a great trading stock it just doesn't look it's it's such a shoppy chart it's it's it never has any clean moves i think if you want to hold it for a longer term i think work is a very good business but as a trading stock i just don't like it it's a very shoppy look at this down move like it, ne it was never, it never had any clean move. It's just shop, you know, up day, down day, up day. Just a slow uptrend, and here too, just shoppy. And here it's just shop, 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 shop. It's like the shoppiest stock ever. If you want to buy it, have a wider stop. You can't use like a low so today, or you know, you, you almost have to lose like 25 as your stop, and then hold for a few years. I think you won't be disappointed, but. Um, Mm, yeah, it's so a trading stock. No, I, I do not like it. I, I just don't. Okay, Fastly broke higher. I just bought VTIQ. It's a super thin stock. I was I was thinking about buying this VTIQ actually after the March sell-off, February sell-off here in the mid high 11s, but you know the volume was so low, I just didn't want to. But now it's had a little bit higher volume for the past few weeks. It's still very low, but it's a little bit higher. Thanks for the heads up, Steve Martin. This is uh, I I think it yeah this thing could go to 25 30 over the next few weeks. Or months. I really think so. 
it's pretty much a Tesla sympathy type of a trade. Man, Twilly was the trade I should have done, I guess. I'm buying back Nugget. I got stopped out yesterday. But I'm getting back in. This GDX looks amazingly good. Looks relentless. Yeah, MVS is Kai M MGNX could be a short today. I don't know. Maybe later. Okay, mRNA taking out loads today. This one goes off my watch list. It's just not acting well at all. What? Nugget crap just after I bought it? Really? Vilio was the one, I guess.
Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I guess you're in it. <laughs> I guess you're in it, right? <laughs> I'm not in it, so I, I hope it doesn't double in the next few months. <laughs> I hope it pulls back. <laughs> I, I hope it pulls back just enough to not sh stop you out. And then it can double. <laughs> like a penny from your stop, right? You can stop a penny from your stop. Just enough to get your pulse up, and then it will turn higher again, or go sideways for a while. Oh, MGNX uh, looks like it's breaking down further. It's been holding below VWAP for a while. Okay, am I finished with earnings? <sighs> Looks like I am.
Oh wow, Zoom is having a potential buy trigger today again. Man, this stock is amazing. I wish I'd seen that zoom earlier. Wow, it's up thir up thirty percent from the buy point. Interesting. Yeah, I know. This is why I bought this uh, P, uh, VTIQ. Uh, Nugget is not impressive though. Oh, it's gonna stop me out again. It never wants to go.
Oh, Fastly is working. Nice. Um, GNX is... I don't know. I'm taking this off my watch list. Nothing there today, I think. Well, it's a waiting game again, guys. It's a waiting game. This HZMP and Beyond Meat really not having follow through from yesterday. I I was having some pretty serious regrets yesterday when they just kept ripping after opening range highs. But yeah, I th really think we need a few months of digestion in the in the markets. I, I don't think we can go straight up for much longer without without at least some kind of a rest. So I don't necessarily think. Stocks are a chase here. Yeah, like a few weeks at least. Absolutely, that that would be great. That would be great. This zoom, oh man, it does look good. It does look good. I may buy a small position if it takes out highs of the day. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, low 155s would have been a better entry, but I think this thing wants to go to 200. You know, I bought it here, but then they had some bad news, like uh, Facebook going to start a competing service, but now it's right back and it's not going away. It's not going away. <clears throat> 
Interesting. Mark is taking out open range size. I'm, I, I did size down a little bit today, but I'm thinking about adding back. Uh, I don't know. Should I? I mean, they are pumping this thing hard. I'll add back some. Okay, I did another 50k. So I have 250k of this thing when I use loads of the day as my stop. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes to 152 bucks or maybe even more. Oh. <sighs> okay, so this today was the heaviest earnings day of this earnings season and then tomorrow is going to be pretty chill uh, t next week is going to be there's going to be some interesting stocks that report next at uh, after ours today and then uh, next week and then earnings season is going to be over and hopefully again uh, digest all of this for a few weeks Oh, I got stopped out of Nugget. Piece of shit. Looks like I got stopped out of Nugget. Took a $24,000 loss on it. I think this GDX is going to make a huge move eventually. But it probably needs to digest. It's kind of extended. 20 day at least needs to catch up. Yeah, DKNG is going to be a big shorting opportunity, just when, what uh, like SPCE was. SPC was a huge shorting opportunity. But it needs to go higher. And get, get more volume too. Fastly, I, this thing could go to 50 plus.
fastly going straight up. That's great. This time I'm in a stock that goes straight up. I guess I could have bought more. I only have 20k shares. Because 2 million shares is about the average volume on it. Uh, let's see, when was the Elon Musk live stream, R Joe Rogan Elon Musk live stream? At what, what time? Do you guys know? <clears throat> let's see, someone posted this link in, this, in the stream. Um, uh, thanks for that, by the way. Uh, doesn't say anything here. Guys, do you know at what time the live stream is? It is live, right? Oh, 9 Pacific time. 9 Pacific time. That's uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. Okay. At 18 CET. That's, yeah, that's 12. Okay, yeah. So that's in an hour and a half all right okay i'm gonna tune in maybe there's a trading opportunity there <laughs> on tesla stock i'm gonna have the trading box open in case he says something crazy <laughs> so if he says something crazy bad the stock is probably a buy right that's how Tesla works. He's like, ah, I think Tesla stock is overvalued. The stock dips initially, then it goes higher. That's exactly what happened in like 2013 or 2014. He said the stock is overvalued. And it just kept going higher. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know today, but I do think so. But I do think within the next year or two, this Tesla stock is either going to be at 2,000 or 200. Or, or no, let, let, let me put it like this. It's going to be at either 2,000 or 20. I really do think so. It's either going to be completely fantastic or it's going to be total shit. There's no middle ground. Now, I hope it goes to two, uh, 2,000. Three hundreds to 864. Uh, well, well, I shorted it to, from 300 to 864. <laughs> no, I didn't. I started shorting in the 500s, I think. Took a lot of tiny, medium-sized losses, and then I nailed it twice. Or three times even. Yeah, I nailed it here, I nailed it here, and then I nailed it here. And then I missed the big move. Like, all of this I missed when the market tanked due to COVID-19. And then I missed the long from uh, 360s too. It's like, I'm like, I mean, sometimes I think I'm like the worst trader ever. It really feels like that. Like, every year I'm looking back... And I'm like, wow, I could have easily made three times as much money. Like, easily. Like, with no effort.
and this year too. If I had just done a few trades I passed on, and passed on a few trades I did do, I would be up like 2 million more. I would be up 3 million more. No joke. Like, I'm having a great year, but I, I could have, I could, I could easily have done two, three times more. It's kind of crazy. Uh, last sticker, uh, FDNT. I don't know. I don't know which ticker you're talking about. FTNT, yeah. Yeah, this one also. This thing has uh, historically actually moved very well on earnings. Just look at the past couple of years. Had earnings here, had a clean move. It had earnings here, had a clean move. Uh, then here was kind of choppy. Here was kind of sold off on earnings day here. Had a big move. This one historically moves very well though, and it was a great buy opportunity opening range highs. I did not take it. That's the problem with earnings season. Like you, some days you get so many stocks at the same time. It's just so hard to watch all of them. Oh, MGNX is it going green on the day. Oh, I really hope this thing go goes to 40 or something. Why was this thing up yesterday? I did not find any specific news on it. I found a, I found a Saks article. Let's see, MGNX. Did they have any specific PR? Some kind of a data update, okay. Uh, fastly, I look, I'm willing to hold it until the next earnings uh, report and more. I, I mean, if I can hold this thing for six months, I'm going to, I'm going to be happy. This is a position trade for me. I, I think this thing could go to the, I mean, why can't it go to mid high double digits? They're just breaking the IPO base at a big beat today. And look, I, I think. Uh, yeah, this thing can go. I think it can go. What's the volume like? Yeah, the volume is gonna be the biggest volume day. May it's maybe even gonna exceed the IPO volume day. Nah, probably not. I think it's gonna trade maybe low teens in volume uh, at the end of the day. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, work is moving nicely, but again, it's not the type of stock I'd rather trade. Dexcom joint S&P 500. Amazing. Amazing.
PVP. She having follow through from yesterday. <clears throat> and net man. This thing has earnings after hours. I just can't buy it. I cannot buy this thing. What if it gaps down to 20 bucks? It's probably not. It's probably going to gap up to 40, but just... Man, if trading could be easy, wouldn't it be great? But the markets really know how to fuck with everyone. DT running up into earnings next week. Uber reports after hours. SBC, I totally missed the re uh, the um, the um, or I didn't miss it. Like I saw saw it pop because see, uh, I think the CEO was in BC, but I should have bought it. I never did. I passed on it, and now it's at twenty bucks. Not happy about that. Instead, I buy Nugget. I've been buying Nugget for two days and getting stopped out. The fuck. It's a thermal camera theme. Maybe they have some kind of media thing too. Like, I don't know if it's legit. It's probably not. It's a sub-dollar stock. They're pretty, you know. Anytime you have a sub-dollar stock in a bull, in a bull market, uh, it's probably a fraud or close, close to being bankrupt. Yeah, Peloton is making a comeback, that's true. MRNA keeps hitting lows. Fastly awesome. Look at how clean it is intraday. On the one minute shot, it's very clean. That's some strong accumulation intraday. Really strong.
Looks like I got stopped out of DAL too. Keep getting stopped out of my, my shorts in airlines and cruise lines. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I don't really see much else to do rest of the day. Really don't. The 6 is an interesting stock. I'm gonna start to invest in portfolio. You know, just, you know, try to find these interesting stocks that could have become enormously big growth stocks.
Okay, I'm gonna do one last scan. And then we'll see. Go through some ideas for the rest of the day. Looks like semis are fading back. Or actually markets are fading back overall. Oh, so TTPH got a buyout offer. 22 million cash plus an additional 13 million on their continent. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, guys, uh, that's it for me. Oh, actually, I'm going to go through my portfolio again. Mark, maybe there's going to be a trading opportunity to add even more. Like, I have, I, I think this thing could do something crazy. I really do. It's just getting started. It's barely a double from the lows. And this thing has, like, tripled before, quadrupled. I, I strongly believe this thing could go to two bucks or maybe even more. And if it does, I want to be there with size. So I'm looking to, for areas to, to add. And another thing on this thing, the volume is not going away. It just keeps getting volume. Like yesterday, it had a huge volume there. I know they had a pump going on, some screenshot. I don't know if it was some that circulated. Uh, but you know, you would think that stock would die off if it was a, you know, pump, but nope, it just keeps coming back. It's riding this uh, yellow line on the 60 minute chart, the 20 exponential moving average. And if, you know, on any ranges to the upside, I will add, I'll add like 50,000 shares at a time. Uh, Vapo from, this one was nice yesterday. I sold about a third of my position into this move yesterday. I still think this thing could go to 40 plus, so I'm keeping. This is like my smallest position. Uh, I don't really care about this thing, but even it's nice. Uh, even if your smallest position makes a big move, but the ones that go big on, like Melee yesterday, they just, they just stop me out. I do have a starter in Melee uh, along. I just believe. I, I think if, if it go, takes out the 755, um, I'm, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add back to the size I had yesterday, 2300 shares. 
AAL, I'm still short. This is uh, one of the weakest airlines. It's nowhere close stopping me out. On the other hand, I'm short from much higher too. So the other ones I was short from much lower. But we'll see. If the market starts having some more down ticks, like we did hold the rising 20 day and now we're going sideways. So yeah, question is, is next move going to be up or down? And then if, if we go down, I think uh, these airlines and cruise lines are going to have big down moves. Okay, now I'm now I'm finished. Um, I'm gonna play computer games the rest of the day. Good luck, guys, trading, and um, hopefully your stuff works out, your trades work out well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.